So today, I'd like to talk about our identity. We're kind of attached to our identity, right? It's, it's who we are. It makes up the being of ourselves. So I am Tony Everett, that is my identity. But do we really ask a question about where that identity came from? Many of us don't. Many of us just take it for granted that we have an identity and that's it. And we keep living our life with this identity. Whether it works for us or not, we hold on to that. And we hold on to that because our brain is sitting there going, well, without that identity, who am I? And we can't possibly live in a world not knowing who we are. So let's break that down, our identity. Our identity has come from our past, obviously, our childhood, our parents, our coaches, our teachers, our mentors, our friends, the community in which we lived in. These are all things that built into our identity. It's the decisions we've made along the way, good or bad, they've still made our identity. And what we end up doing is we embrace this identity and perform to it. There's actually words that describe this. It's called a performance-based identity. But unfortunately, the performance-based identity is held on to kind of athletes and people perform at high levels. But that's not actually accurate. A performance-based identity is all of us because we're all performing to our past selves because we had to. Right? We had to get good grades, we had to um, win at the game of soccer, we had to become the champion. Whatever it was, we were performing for something. A performance-based identity in and of itself is not bad. Right? If it drives me to perform when I'm performing for myself, it's a good thing. Because that drives me to be and do better. The problem with a performance-based identity is when we're performing for everyone else. You know, I coach youth soccer. I coach my daughter's soccer team. And I talk to those kids on that soccer field. And they're, they're really good soccer players. But I would say eight out of 10 of those girls are performing for their parents on the sideline. If they're performing for their parents on the sideline, they're performing with a sense of, I don't want to let them down. It's, I don't want to disappoint. And you'll know this, that if we're performing to not disappoint, we're really not performing to our best self. So what I want to try and teach people is how to perform to an audience of one, how to perform for yourself so that you drive the performance, that you get the outcomes that you want, that you live the life that you want to do um, because it's yours, not because you're trying to please someone else. As soon as we start pleasing someone else, things start to go wrong. So my challenge here and what I want us to get to is what is your identity? Where did it come from? What are the stories you're telling yourself that make you, you? And then ask, am I performing for other people? Or am I performing for myself? And what would it look like if I just performed for me, right? How could I find my passion, my purpose, and then do everything that I can to execute into my own identity that I have created around this dream and goal and vision of where I want my life to go, right? So that's, that's where we want to get to. Can we create uh, a performance identity to an audience of one. Can you start performing for you? And then can you start to see the results change? If you want help with this, I would love to help you out. This is what I do. This is my passion. I love helping people find out who they are on the inside, uncover that stuff. So then they can step boldly into their brilliance for a great future. Uh, you can DM me on LinkedIn. I'm always there. I can always check those messages. Find me. Um, if not, go to mpbcoaching.com. Go there. Go on. Schedule a call. Talk to me. I'd love to find a way that I can help you become your best self. Thanks for listening.